Hi and welcome to this quick training video on Boardmaker Online which is now available from Spectronics. So if you're ready to ditch that Boardmaker CD for good but keep using the program that you know and love then maybe Boardmaker Online is for you. Maybe you already have Boardmaker Online and you just want a little bit of extra information about how to use it then that's why you've come here today to look at this training video. My name is Amanda Hartman, I'm a speech pathologist and one of the consultants here at Spectronics and yes it is true. I am the self-proclaimed queen of Boardmaker around here. So it's my job to welcome you and say good day here from Australia and bring to you this series of quick videos that can tell you a little bit more about Boardmaker Online. So these training videos will cover a variety of topics. So enjoy. In this training video, we are going to look at how we use folders. And this is within the Boardmaker Online interface, just in that main menu structure there so that we can keep all of our stuff really organized. Let's open up Boardmaker Online and see how we do this. So I'm on my home page here, so I simply click to my Boardmaker tab and you can see here that I'm opening up to all of my activities. So I'm in my activities tab here and some of the activities that I've created have all just been started to be piled into here. Now you can imagine that if you keep creating lots of activities or downloading or adding lots of activities, very quickly you're going to have difficulty organizing and finding things. So you can see like what I've done here is I've started to create some folders. So I've got a theme of solar system, a um, one about foods, one about colors. So what we want to do is we just want to um, create some folders and, and organize them so that all of our activities um, can go into folders which will just keep things more organized, which fits really well with um, my OCD tendencies actually. Haha. <laughs> anyway, so let's go, let's go. So you can see here um, I've got a book. Now I have actually already created a books and stories folder. So if you have an activity and you've already created the folder, then all you have to do is you go along to these little orange tabs, you go to this little double backward arrow and it's about moving the activity to a folder. So when you click that button, it opens up all your folders and I just click books and stories and it's moved it. So now when I want to find that story about going to the beach, I will find it here with my other books. Um, there. Okay, my little navigational buttons here so I can go back to my activity so I'm back at the top level now. So let's go and create a folder now because I have some communication boards, um, aided language symbol boards that I might want to keep all together in a folder. So I'm going to just simply click create a folder and I'm going to give that folder a name. Now realize that wherever you create, create the, click create the folder, the folder will be placed in at that level. So at the moment I'm in my activities, so this new folder is going to be nestled within my activities. So the new folder name, we'll just call it Symbol Boards Create. Okay, so now I've got a Symbol Boards activity. So now those two bubble ones that I had before, I'll just click and say put them in my Symbol Boards and same thing again, put it in my symbol boards. So now things are looking a little bit more organized here. All right, so that's really good. I've got some literacy activities in here. So let's see about doing that again. Let's create a folder and we'll call it literacy create. Okay, now obviously within literacy, I'm going to probably end up with a whole lot of different stuff there. So let's go in because these ones here are actually CVC activities. But in my literacy folder, I've got nothing there at the moment, but let's create another folder. Maybe I might end up having some activities to do with rhyme. So let's create a folder there. Okay, let's create a folder. And for those activities that I have are uh, CVC activities, so consonant, vowel, consonant activities. Of course I will have a whole lot of other different literacy activities in there as well. So I go back to my activities where I see them all and I'll just go to the move button and this time I navigate literacy to my CVC folder and it just moves it. And you can see you can just go through all of your activities and keep things all organized. So healthy and unhealthy, that's a foods activity. So let's move that now straight away into my themes, foods. 
and I've got another couple of random activities here that I had downloaded and, and created. So again, I would just move them and that way I'm just going to have some really nice um, organization um, of things here. Now if I click the settings button here, this allows me to just edit the folder and basically the only edit that we can do is to rename it so I'll cancel that so if you do want to at any point rename a folder then you can go ahead and do that as well okay and then of course that will the cross will allow you to delete the folder so how simple and easy is that I do encourage you in your board maker to keep everything organized in folders I'm sure that you do that when you were using your other versions of board maker if you had it on your computer you'd have everything organized in folders so there's no reason that we should do anything differently when we're um, creating um, activities okay and um, end up with lots of them we want to keep them organized so hopefully that has helped you out Thanks for watching and I look forward to sharing more about Boardmaker Online with you soon. Bye now.